Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about something exciting that I've been meaning to talk about and film um, for over a month or so now, um, and that is the Allie Glines uh, makeup bags that were released several months ago. I've been meaning to film on these makeup uh, cases or makeup travel case um, for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it, um, but I figured why not today? I know that many of us are probably still not traveling due to the pandemic and everything, but I still wanted to go over it because I feel like it could be really helpful in terms of organizing your makeup collection, keeping things tidy, um, whether you have a big collection or a small collection on how you can use this. I do have a travel makeup case that I've been using for a couple years that I had bought um, from Sephora actually and it was on a recommendation of Kathleen Light. Like I said two or three years ago I don't remember exactly when she had recommended the Sephora one which I'll show you I actually have right here which has quite a few similarities to the Ally Glines one so I figured why not do a little bit of a comparison. I filmed uh, packing my makeup in both the Sephora one and the Ally Glyne ones um, to do kind of like a side by side and I plan on inserting those videos um, within in this video to kind of show you what the differences were but before we get into that I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit let's talk about um, more details of the Ally Glines um, makeup bag if you don't know Ally Glines is a youtuber influencer uh, beauty influencer on YouTube she is actually one of my favorites she's super cute um, does a lot of really easy um, how to's she really prefers at least from what I could tell from her videos does a lot of drugstore and affordable makeup she does high-end as well um, and she's just very relatable so I was really excited when she released these makeup bags and was more than happy to support her brand um, the one that I got is actually actually not her first launch so they launched uh, I believe I want to say early this year uh, or maybe even end of last year um, and she launched her makeup travel case or makeup bag collection with the full bag collection which is actually not this guy here so the full bag collection is a bigger collection and she and she came up with this modular system, which I thought was pretty cool, in which you have an outer component, um, so the bigger bag, outer bag, and then on the inside, the compartments were customizable. So there's little pouches. She has two different sizes um, that you can switch around to best fit your needs, and those are also available to be purchased separately. Um, and then months later, she released what they call the classic makeup bag collection, which is the one I have. So again this is it right here it comes in this really pretty like satin drawstring bag um i love the color it's kind of this taupey mauve i don't even know how to explain this color um and this is like i said the classic bag collection this guy right here is going for 58 dollars, and it includes a couple of the modular components on the inside which i'm going to show you um i love that it has a handle i love the rose gold hardware um she's got ally glines right there listed so it's a really lovely color it seems like it's going to be relatively easy to clean to wipe down and when we open it up on the inside you have this kind of zipper component right here, um, which is clear so you can see through that I also really like as well, the rose gold hardware. And in the classic bag, it comes with um, two cubes on the inside and those are the small. These are the small sizes. These are fully removable. You can take them out. So I'm gonna take one out and show you in a little bit more detail. So again, um, the clear top here, which I love because you can see what's actually inside. The rose gold hardware, mine still has the some of the original packaging on it. Um, this opens all the way and bends back so it's easy access and it seems pretty roomy in there. And they go in side by side. Um, the other thing I loved about this bag, which I'll get to when we talk about kind of the pros and cons between this one and the Sephora one is, when you put the two cubes in there, you can see we still have some space like back here and you have some space if you can see it here and on the sides and as well on the top um, to stack palettes. Um, which makes it for a more roomy and also doesn't feel like you are smashing everything in there, which I really love. Um, so like I said, this guy, the classic bag right here goes for $58. 
um, and it comes with the two small components. Um, the small components are available for purchase individually um, and everything is fully in stock on her website. I will leave the website in the description box below um, if you guys choose to check it out. And I'll also leave a link to Allie's uh, video where she talks about this launch in more detail if you wanted to check it out. The small cubes go for, and I'm looking at my notes so don't mind me, the small cubes go for $24 and there's a medium cube which is a long Longer than this goes for $34 and you can buy those individually like I said you cannot buy they don't have the option to buy just the outer bag individually the dimensions on this bag right here and based off of what's on the website so this guy right here the classic outer bag is seven and a half inches by ten by four and a half and the dimensions on the small cubes is four and a half by six by three the medium size bag is five and a half by nine by three. I am going to insert a clip of me packing up this makeup bag um, with the same products that I packed up to go on my last trip. My last trip before the whole pandemic was back in February, like literally before everything shut down. We went for a really good friend of mine for her wedding to Mexico and I was lucky enough to get to do her makeup for her wedding day which was so special. Um, so I packed all my tools and all of the makeup obviously that I would need to do her makeup as well as my makeup. Um, when you see the video you'll see I didn't pack um, like the complexion products, the foundation and the concealer um, I only packed those to match me. She is quite a few shades lighter than I am. Um, so we just, she had packed her own, but everything else I used, um, again, for on her and on myself. So in that clip, you'll see um, laid out everything that I took on that trip um, and how it, how I packed it in the Allie Glines makeup bag and also um, how I packed it into the Sephora one. So the Sephora one makeup bag is actually what I took with me um, to Mexico. So let me just show you a bit of the details on the Sephora so bag. The Sephora bag is almost the same size. It measures um, seven and a half by 9.75 or nine three quarters by uh, five. Um, so a bit smaller than the Alley Glines, not that big of a difference. Um, and on the inside, we've got a couple of different things. So on the inside, we have some mesh compartments. So here we've got these slots for your makeup brushes as well as this plastic flap to cover and protect your makeup brushes. And it actually comes with three removable compartments on the inside. So we get a flat pouch, which is semi see-through. Um, so you can kind of um, see through it, um, not really. It is kind of a really easy, so you've got mesh out here, more of a like plasticky on the inside so to wipe down. And then you've got, and don't mind these, they, like I said, I've had it for a couple years, so they've been well loved. Um, you've got two cubes. These are more malleable, so um, you can kind of, you know, smoosh them in there a lot more. So we've got two of these. And when you pack it in there, um, it kind of goes, so the two cubes go there, and you can put the pouch on top, and you can see there's not as much space on the sides compared to the Alley Glines one and when you put all your makeup brushes in there it leaves you with less space to stack like makeup palettes or whatever on top so it gets a bit bulky so i guess the main difference between this one and the ally glines one is this one has these slots for the makeup brushes versus the ally glines has the zipper with the clear pocket and this one does come with the additional uh zip pouch um that would be the main difference and then also the price so this sephora bag is also currently available on the sephora website i just checked before i started filming this video and goes for $45 so it's it's more than $10 less than the Ali Glines bag um, obviously this one in my opinion is a bit prettier right from the coloring the packaging a little more detail to the hardware um, but this one being all black if you're like a, a makeup artist that travels um, this might look more professional versus the Ali Glines it's whatever your preference I love the color of the Ali Glines I don't mind this one either but I feel like when it's all black it's kind of harder to see things especially if a lot of your makeup products have black packaging uh, with this kind of black mesh and black on the inside it's just harder to see so I prefer for a lighter color help brighten everything up um, and then I believe I mentioned the dimensions on this guy already like I said seven and a half by nine and three quarters by five versus the Allie Glines which is seven and a half and I'm looking at my notes 
seven and a half by 10 by four and a half inches. So again, the alley lines is slur slightly larger. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start off with the videos again of me trying to pack uh, the makeup products that I took on that trip. Um, in the Ally Glines one and in the Sephora one and that way you can see a difference I'm gonna stick in a picture of just all those products um, prior to the video so, so you can see what that variety of products that I took um, just to note when I travel I tend to overpack on my makeup items because I love having options you just never know so I always take at least two or three palettes. Um, in this case, because we were going for a wedding and we had the rehearsal dinner, we had um, the, after the wedding, there was a party after, the day after the wedding, there was also another family party. So we had multiple events that we were going to during that time, so I wanted options. So I believe I packed maybe three, even four eyeshadow palettes um, and a variety of products that I would have needed for myself as well as for the bride. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm an overpacker when I travel, whether that's makeup, clothing, shoes, I always overpack. Um, better safe than sorry is the way I think about it. I've always been that way. Um, even as a little girl, we traveled uh, quite a bit. I was always the one that had more than I needed, always trying to stick my, uh, my clothing or shoes or whatever in my sister's bag or my parents' bags just to make sure I had enough options. So let's get into the packing of the items with the Ally Glines and with the Sephora one. I'll just give you a heads up. I am packing those bags with one hand. I'm holding my phone, which is what I use to film that in the other hand. So if it gets a little awkward, Word. that's why so bear with me on that all right so let's roll that clip Okay, so I started with putting my eyeshadow palettes at the base of the makeup bag. You could also stack it on top, but I prefer to stack them on bottom. And you can see how I am adding palettes on the side. Just to note, the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette was not available when I went on my trip in February, but I couldn't remember what other palette I took with me, so I just used the e.l.f. as a stand-in. Now we're going on to packing the first cube where I usually put all my compacts, so highlights, bronzers, blushes, all that kind of stuff. Um, I typically take at least two of each, which is why you see so many. Again, I love to have my options because you just never know what you're gonna need. And I ended up with that little um, space there. So I was trying to think of what I could put in there. I ended up adding in my MAC Paint Pot and the uh, pencil sharpener for lip liners and eyeliners and such. And adding some lip products as well as my eyeshadow primer to get to fit in that little nook and cranny. I was trying to get the mascara in there and the eyeliner, but realized it would probably be better to put that somewhere else and ended up deciding that was the perfect spot to fit my beauty sponge. So we're gonna put it back in the outer case bag. Um, I am struggling a bit again because I am doing this with one hand, so bear with me. It's much easier to pack this makeup bag, obviously, when you have both hands available. So on to the second cube. We're gonna be packing my foundation concealer, so a lot of my base products. Again, you'll see I do have at least two of each, so two primers, two foundations. I believe I also packed like three concealers for this trip. Um, once again, I like my options. And this is also where I ended up putting all of the rest of my eye products, my um, lip products, and also my eyelash curler. to pack it back in the outer case as well you'll see i am struggling to get it in there just because i'm using one hand when you have both hands available it's not nearly as hard uh, to pack them and all what's left after this will be packing my brushes which i ended up putting in the zipper component um, at the top
Okay, so as you can see um, from those videos, uh, these 401 I sped up quite a bit uh, just because it was a bit repetitive. I wanted to focus more on the Alley Glines bag. So as you can see, um, comparing the Alley Glines and the Sephora bag, I was able to fit more of my makeup brushes into the Sephora one. And that's because I feel like having these kind of slots, these elastic slots gives me the ability to stick more in there to really crush them in there if you want to put it that way um, however uh, when I would close it you could see it looked pretty bulky um, and there were a couple items that just didn't fit as nicely as I would want to when I travel I never put my makeup bag in my suitcase or in my check bag this is always with me so this is either goes in my carry-on or is my personal item um, just because I don't want to run the risk of things breaking or it getting lost um, with clothing I feel like it's easy to replace so if that gets lost that's fine I could easily replace those but with makeup like this is my little treasure box right here this stuff is so expensive I'm sure you guys all know and if I were to lose my makeup bag I would be crushed Call me crazy, call me makeup freak or addict or whatever you want to say, but this is the most important thing for me when I travel. So yes, it was pretty crammed in there with the Sephora bag versus the Ally Glines bag, which everything seemed to fit a little more comfortably. We had a little bit more room. Um, there were the couple brushes at the end, which were most, mostly like my face brushes, so like my Kabuki uh, foundation brush, my blush brush um, that didn't quite fit in the zipper component. I probably could have shoved them in there if I wanted to, if I really, really wanted to, but I didn't want to risk damaging any of the bristles or kind of deforming the way the bristles are, running the risk of those bristles getting stuck in the zipper. Um, so that's another thing to take into consideration. But overall, I do really love the Alley Glines travel case. The pros on this one would be that it is slightly bigger so we do have more space for everything to fit more comfortably. You can add in more palettes like I said you can put one or like you can see from the video you can see I put one at the bottom and we still had room to stack more on top. Um, it has the see-through cubes on the top so it's easier for me to tell what's in the cube versus the Sephora one where I have that mesh kind of black um, fishnet, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of blocking it. Um, and the zipper pocket, I really did enjoy the zipper pocket uh, on this one for different reasons, not necessarily for my makeup brushes. And then also I found, um, I find this to be a pro that you can purchase these cubes separately. So if you decided to buy the bigger bag, which they call the full bag, which is much larger than this, the, lar the full bag can fit either four of the small cubes or two small cubes cubes and one medium or two medium. So whatever works with you. I think this for me um, is fine when I travel. Otherwise, I'm going to be lugging around my entire makeup collection, which nobody wants to do. Um, those are the pros on the Alley Glines one. I think for the price, it's pretty reasonable. Um, it looks like they paid attention to all the small details. It's a beautiful product. The color, the detailing, the rose gold, the hardware, the handle, um, it's just really well made. I believe it's also a vegan leather, leather that they made it out of, um, which is great. So, and then with the Sephora bag, the pros on that is I really like having the additional flat pouch. I feel like I can put a lot of like my eyeliners or lip pencils or things like that in this pouch, which I could actually use in tandem with this guy. Um, I like the slots for the makeup brushes on these on the Sephora one, so that's also a pro. And then it's also um, $10 cheaper, if not a little bit more. Like I said, it is available on the Sephora website. So if you find the $58 price point is just a bit too steep for you, um, you could go with the Sephora bag. When this bag was released, I actually did um, comment. I was wondering if maybe they were thinking about um, makeup brush storage and it was actually pretty cool because I commented on the shop, I believe the shop Ally Glines Instagram page asking about that and um, they let us know in the comment section that that's actually in the works. I'm really looking forward to see what type of makeup brush 
uh, travel case or organizer they're coming up with. I know there's been a couple like the roll up ones or the ones that are like in a triangle that fold out. Um, so I'm interested to see what they come up with. Um, I don't currently have a specific makeup brush organizer aside from the slots in my Sephora Pro uh, makeup travel case. Um, other than that, I really don't. I usually don't like using a makeup bag that has a zipper because you run the risk of it getting snagged in the bristles and the bristles messing up or it getting deformed or smashed. So I really don't wouldn't don't prefer ones with the zipper which is another reason why I like the Sephora bag the slots with the cover on it but we will see um hopefully that comes out soon um so again this is the Allie Glines um classic makeup bag uh runs for $58 available on her website now uh I am in love with it can't wait for my next trip hopefully soon to test it out and let me know in the comments below if you guys have checked this out have you tried it uh, what are your thoughts on it do you feel like it was worth the price um, what other things have you used it for because you can't you don't have to use it only for makeup um, she has quite a few pictures on the shop Ally Glines Instagram page showing using it to store your nail polishes or your skincare or even using it as like a uh, shaving kit bag for your significant other using the medium one so there's a bunch of different ways you can use it you don't have to use it specifically for makeup so if you picked it up let me know in the comments section below what you thought of it and that brings us to the end of the video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel um, also check out my Instagram page. I'll leave my Instagram handle in the description bar. It's the same as my YouTube channel, uh, Glitz by Day. Give me a follow, leave me a comment there. Um, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.